Greetings everyone. In uh, today's uh, lecture, I'm going to explain how to divide a curve into specific uh, circles and then control the radius of each one of these circles depending on a graph mapper. So basically you can pipe a curve and then you can control the dimensions and the radius of uh, this pipe according to your preferences or your job maybe this will help you in uh, some cases so let's start uh, doing that um, in this lecture i am using the rhinoceros um, 6 software and inside uh, Rhinoceros Canvas, if you click on the this green button here, or if you type in um, Grasshopper, so for those who don't know about Grasshopper, it's a visual programming where you can actually create uh, parameters for uh, some kind of design uh, preferences and let's start with a new canvas with a clean canvas here so for us to create the curve let's go to the front view here and let's start drawing a curve or a random curve it doesn't matter how this curve is and then if you look here in the first tab it's called the initial parameters and inside the parameters you can see the um, these are all of the components that you can import from the Rhino canvas and basically because we have created a curve a few selected here it says one curve selected because we have created a curve for us to insert this curve into the grasshopper um, we can select this curve here and this component is gonna bring this curve into the canvas and before we start for you because you are a beginner I advise you first to um, use the in the display you can use the full name and display so you can see the full name and if we remove the icon now we can see the name of the component here so you can see what is the import and what's the what's getting inside the component and what's going out so in the beginning we have this curve here so for us to assign this curve to the grasshopper canvas you right click on it and you go say set one curve if you have multiple curves you select multiple curves and if you have one curve you select one curve so now we have one curve is going to tell you curve or edge to reference so we are going to select the curve and now you see it's turned green which means that this curve is now inside the canvas if I select it now it's green so after we select the curve now what we want to do is we want to divide this curve into certain points and for us to divide if you go to the C here this is the curve this is where we control any curve we have and inside the um, curve tab you can see this division um, menu so in the division menu if you click on the division these are all the options that we can divide the curve with and you can divide it by contour dash patterns divide curve you are going to get through maybe a curve division in uh, some lecture later on but for now we can choose we can choose the simplest one which is the divide curve this is going to divide a curve into equal length segments so let's divide the curve so the inputs what it needs is it needs a curve so this is our curve let's connect our curve to the curve and then it needs a count so basically inside if you look it shows you there are 10 so it divided this curve into 10 points 
um, it's okay and you can also make a bring a slider component slider which is a number slider from here from the inputs you can bring this number slider and then connect to the count and if we double click and go inside we can make a numeric and let's say maximum 20 points here and let's say it's okay and this may be divided into let's let's keep maybe i don't know 11 12 let's make it 12 points this one you don't have to worry about now so next we need to now we have the points and we have the tangents and we have the parameters of these tangents now we need to create circles so for us to draw a circle you can double click on the canvas here and you can type in circle and it's going to show us all of the options for the circles you can bring circle from the canvas or you can make like a circle from a center and a curve you can create a circle from three points or we, you can create a circle c and r which um which uh, creates a circle that needs a center a normal and a radius so that's the one that we want to use for our example today and what it needs is it needs a center so the center of our uh, circle is going to be all of these points so all of these points are here and let's connect these here so now we have the um, circles and the normals are this direction that means the directions the direction of the circle is going to be the xy world xy which is going to be the same as this one and in the radius we can give it a radius by ourselves we can bring this number slider again from here and we can connect and then let's double click and i don't know make maximum like 30 or let's put 100 millimeters because my my canvas is in millimeter units so let's put 100 let's see what happens um, let's go into perspective view uh, now we can see the circles here now we have created the circles 20 is a good number I think all right so now what we want to do is we want to control these circles depending on a, our preferences for us to do that we need to bring something called graph mapper and for us to bring the graph mapper you can go to the parameters and then to the inputs and here is the graph mapper here and let's click this graph mapper here so this is the graph mapper so basically for us to control that graph mapper we need to connect the uh, parameters to it and then instead of this radius here which is like one constant radius for all of them we will connect this to the radius here let's delete this one we don't need and if you right click on the graph mapper there are a lot of types that you can choose from for example assign graph mapper and it is very very small as you can see so we cannot see the effect for us to increase the effect of these graph mappers we can use a panel here i advise you to use uh, the panel in all of your steps uh, for you as a beginner we need to see what is coming out of this component here let's connect so the radiuses are way too small we need to increase this uh, radius like to be at least 20 so let's use multiplication if we go to math here we can bring a multiplication component and then multiply this by a number we want you can bring a slider and then like uh, um, create or you can just type double click here and type the number you want and hit enter and this is going to bring you the number slider with the number specific number you want and let's connect this to b so it's going to multiply all of these by 20 let's see what we have now 
now we have beta radius here let's connect this radius here to this radius and see what happens now this is better so if we move this it's gonna it's gonna change the radius according to our graph mapper so for us to see the effect let's loft all of these curves together for us to loft it we can double click on the canvas and type in loft and that's gonna loft all of these curves let's delete this we don't need it and that's gonna loft these circles here let's connect it and now we can see the graph mapper here and if we change these values here let's see what happens as you can see it's changing the parameters according to our graph mapper and also we can change the graph type I don't know like sync let's see so you can see here we can control how the points gonna show and for us to have better results I advise you to right click on your inserted curve and then reparameterize what that one will do is it's gonna it's gonna change the normals of the points to start from here all the way to here in case it's counting the first point to be in a different position let's reparameterize and then now we have a better control on our curve as you can see we have now total control on our curve and if you right click on this and then hide it and hide this one or you can just select all of them and click the space and then hide now we can see the curve better now if we can if we click here if we move this graph mapper here we can change how our curve is gonna appear and also we can change the um, radius here and also we can do something better here so I have created this swarm curves in advance you I'm gonna in the future I'm gonna show you how can you create this kind of swarm effect and then if I assign all of them all of these instead of this curve here let's delete that one if we right click on this curve now here and say multi set multiple curves and select all of them and then click enter now we can see all of them being selected here so let's reduce this here now as you can see this is some kind of swarm effect for all of these curves and also you can change the parameters of all of these forms in advance and I have created like maybe in the future I will show you how to create that but for now let me delete these guys and then show you the final result here and then render it so you can have some kind of this effect here and if we control the graph here it's gonna if we change the graph it's gonna change the effect on the on all of your curves simultaneously so you don't have to redo everything so you can do something like this using the grasshopper components uh, the one we have done here already here all right that's it
and this is like the simple uh, components and for those who use the icons for me i prefer having it as icons and i prefer having it uh, with only the simple letters for you when you get used to the grasshopper you can prefer you do whatever you prefer but i like it this way i hope this helps you in your um, uh, work and uh, it was benefit and if you have any questions you can put it in the comments uh, down below and i will try my best to reply to your questions and uh, have a good day guys